Late last month, NASA unveiled the discovery of frozen water at a molecular level on the moon. It was a discovery made without a single human leap or small step. Rather, the finding is being credited to the administration's flying observatory, nicknamed SOFIA. The Stratospheric Observatory for Infrared Astronomy, which is the proper name for the souped-up Boeing 747SP, is equipped with a 9-foot far-infrared telescope capable of providing deep looks into space. The infrared capabilities allow the telescope to provide images that cannot be seen with visible light and peer through vision-obscuring objects like dust clouds. And attaching it to a jetliner cruising in the troposphere at elevations as high as 45,000 feet helps eliminate any potential ground-based obstructions. Once airborne, a door at the back of the fuselage opens to provide the telescope with an unobstructed line of sight. Another advantage of mounting the telescope to a plane as opposed to a satellite, is that it can be updated every time it lands. The discovery is considered a major milestone for NASA's Artemis mission, which will look to take humans back to the moon by 2024 in preparation for exploring Mars. The existence of water on the moon adds a unique dynamic to plans for sustaining life and possibly building a sort of stop-off colony before heading to the red planet. SOFIA was originally built in 1977 and is considered the largest flying telescope ever used by NASA. The plane was owned by Pan Am and United before coming to NASA two decades after it was built. After 13 years of retrofitting and technological upgrades, the plane's first science-based flight took place in 2010. Since then, it's been a part of more than 100 research flights. SOFIA's flights typically last about 10 hours and take place at night when lower levels of water vapor result in improved image quality. For Thomas, I'm Jeff Ranke, and this is the Thomas Industry Update.